At this time, we are going to ask Sister Lydia Grant to lead us in our prayer, followed by Sister Banks, and then we'll close with Brother Corinthian in our own way.
But well, we know that if men from different backgrounds and different situations can come together on the day of Pentecost and your Holy Spirit rain and blow the fire over their heads, Lord, we know you can do that miraculous thing again today. Lord, there's nothing too big or too hard for our God. And we just want to come in a humble way, Lord, and just say we're not worthy. But we're asking that you show us the way, Lord. Be the light within us, Lord, so that when others see us, all they see is the character of Christ, Lord. Help us to be obeyed, Lord, so you can be lifted up, Lord. Lord, we know that you still have some faith and hope and confidence in this church, Lord. But if we do it on our own, Lord, we will do nothing but fail, Lord. But through the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, you can bring us together in one mission, one accord, and we can move forward and bring souls to Christ, Lord. Not for our glorification, but Lord, so that you can be glorified, Lord. Our prayer is that we make it in, Lord, and we know that we go through some troublous times. And we know that sometimes you say, yeah, all that live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution, Lord. So when we go through this persecution, Lord, we're asking that you continue to keep the faith, Lord. Be encouraged and know that it's only a little while, Lord. And all this temporary suffering is only but for a little more time, Lord. But it cannot be compared to the glory that you have prepared for us, Lord. We're asking that you continue to be with our families, Lord. Because if God, if the enemy can separate families, he can separate this church. So, Lord, we're asking that you bring husband and wife together as one. We're asking that you bring parent and child together as one, Lord. We're asking that you bring all the families of this church together in one body, Lord. Lord Jesus, at, at baptism, John says, Behold the Lamb of God who taketh away the sins of the world, Lord. So we're asking, Lord, Heavenly Father, that you take this sin out of us, Lord. Whatever it is that's in us, Lord, we know that there is nothing too hard, Lord. And you can save those from the guttermost and lift them to the uttermost, Lord. So we just thank you for what you're going to do in this place today. Lord, we're not even talking about what you're going to do tomorrow or what you've done in the past, Lord. But Lord, today, what you're going to do, we just thank you. And we're asking that you continue to lift our heads up to the hills from which come our help, Lord. Those that are on their sick bed, Lord, touch them. Touch them, Lord, because we know you can still work miracles today as you did in the biblical time, Lord. So even if we just need a little help with some help, Lord, help us to reach out and touch the hem of your garment, Lord. Lord, no matter what it is, even if it's a financial situation, Lord, Lord, you own the cattle on a thousand hills. So we know that you have everything, Lord. What you bestow upon us is 100% yours, Lord, but we're asking that you just show us how to return even a mere tenth of what all bread is yours, Lord. Help us to be faithful, obedient, Lord, because if we trust and obey like there's no other way, we will truly be happy, Lord. So we're asking that you continue to help us to march forward, Lord, one step at a time, one day at a time, Lord, and we'll promise to give you all the glory and the praise, Lord. Lord, you said in your word that you're going to come and you will not tear, Lord. But before you come, Lord, prepare us to be a living sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true, Lord. Be with the leadership of this church. Be with the pastor of this church, Lord. We can only imagine the things that he goes through on a daily basis. The spiritual warfare for his mind and for his life, Lord. We know that it's a battle between good and evil, Lord. But as, our, as the leader of this church, Lord, please continue to keep him in perfect peace and keep him so that his mind is stayed on thee, Lord Jesus. We thank you and we love you for bringing him here to West Broad, Lord. Sometimes we may not even agree with what we think in our carnal mind, what he's doing, Lord. But Lord, you have a calling on his life, Lord. So help us as a church body to trust in what you appointed this man of God to do. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the elders of the church and deacons, the ushers, everybody in this church, Lord. Help us to all fit in our place and so that we can all come together in harmony on one accord, Lord Jesus. We thank you for what you're going to do for our lives, Lord, and help us to make it in, Lord. Save us. Save our families. Be with our children. Be with everybody in the place today. Be with this community, Lord. We know that this church can still be a light in this community, Lord. All the shootings and the killings in Savannah, Lord. We know that you have us here as a purpose, as a beacon of light in this community. So in the name of Jesus, we just thank you. And we pray that your Holy Spirit, the latter rain, come. And as the latter rain falls, Lord, help us to be prepared so that we do not miss out on eternal glory, Lord. We thank you and love you. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Preach, my brother. Preach.
Praise the Lord. We want to say time. You look around and you see the colors. White and red. It's not by accident. Our colors have spiritual implication. There's a place for white and there's a place for red. I hope you understand that as we turn today. Thank you. 